M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ICOM ID50 Programming Software. So here is the download link which I will provide for you. Once you're here, just scroll down and click, click the tick, download, and you get a zip file that it put into my download folder. If I go here, downloads, there's the zip file, CS50 version 101, this one is, double click, and then just double click it again cs50 double click and then i just double click setup ran that and it, it it loaded the program which looks like it put it here if i click this the grid it says icom cs50 there now i have connected the usb cable and it's a standard usb cable into the right hand side at the bottom there of my radio just USB-C like you would use for charging your phone and it does charge the Icon 50 as well also in interfaces with the programming software which is great uh, nice and convenient I did create a shortcut I went like so then I right click on the CS50 more then I selected pin to taskbar and it's down here once I click that, we get this. Now what it does, when you first click, if I just click out of it, click uh, no. When you first click it, it did ask me to select the COM port. So where did I get the COM port from? Right click, device manager. And it, it, inst it did install the drivers automatically. You may have to add yours, but USB serial device COM18 is shown here. Just here, USB serial device COM18. Then at the bottom right of when this came up, on the bottom right there was COM, but you can just put in your SD card and you can select a read from that as well. So that's worth knowing. So once we are in, we get this, and I'm just flicking down through. The the fit the CS the ID50 does come preloaded with lots and lots of programs and software and repeaters and all kinds. So let's have a quick look here what we've got. Double click a few things as we go down, memory channels, common settings, A and B settings, GPS, digital, your call sign, repeater list, which is blank at the moment because I didn't save the settings. So what I'll do, I'll read. See at the top here you've got the little blue TV. Click that and it's now reading the radio and the radio is showing that on the screen with a picture of a radio and a laptop and you can still use the radio I'm, I'm listening to the radio fine even though it's connected let's try this again digital repeater list there you are as well our repeater list click local this is where i've added a couple of hot spots call signs use repeater etc and all these reflectors they're already in there I didn't have to add them which is quite handy memory channels go back to repeater lists and in group is where I added my call sign I have added some memory channels my station my call sign there's that you can put in your call sign and a TX message it's a lot easier using this way for typing TX history from DV. Well, I've only used it for five minutes. But there is some stuff. There is someone there. GP3KS. Flectors. TX history. GPS. Common settings. A and B. So of course you need to learn this. I've been on it for a few minutes. Skip channel settings. FM call channels. Your best thing with this is just to just literally just play with it and start to learn it. There's lots of videos out there as well. Adding and removing items. Let's go to one of these repeaters. So these are all preloaded. Let's double click one. Yeah, so you can change it if you want. Change and add, edit. Look, if you right click, edit, copy, up, down, delete, insert, use from, and you know, all the settings are there on every single one let's go up to the top memory channels core channels we've looked at that so 
but I'll provide a link let me know uh, how you get on with it I don't tend to use software that often I play with it initially and then I um, tend to just program the radio by hand so thanks for watching my channel 73 all the best bye for now